Just walk us through the, the final possession. Tony was explaining that you guys didn't want to call a timeout, wanted to attack the rim. Uh, did you like what you got and, and what happened on that play? Uh, it was about eight seconds on the clock. Um, came down, uh, didn't call a timeout because didn't want him to get set up, I guess. And I mean, I got to the basket, I just missed the shot. So I guess we live with it. Hey, where did Tane Murray come from? Uh, New Zealand. <laughs> no, I mean, did he surprise you with what he did tonight? He scored four points going into tonight. Uh, no, I mean, I think that's just the kind of players we have. I mean, you got to wait your turn, and he was ready when his number was called. So, um, hats off to him. He's been working in the gym. Um, he really works hard, so um, it showed tonight. Understanding that you're not satisfied with the outcome, but the, the fight the team showed in the second half, especially some of those younger and newer players, um, what do you guys take from having a comeback like this? Um, yeah, I mean, it just shows that we can, uh, when we play how we, we want to play, um, we're pretty good. I mean, um, we stuck with them. Um, just, I mean, we dug ourselves a hole, so battling back from that, it, it's always tough to come back. So um, try to put two halves together, I guess. What was the difference late in the first half and then the whole second half? Just playing harder with more passion, or? Yeah, I mean, just just playing harder, more attentive. Um, you could just feel more life. I don't know, just um, being out on the floor. I mean, um, I guess we have a tendency to come out slow. So um, yeah, but you can. I mean, obviously, we can all see the difference. So um, just trying to come out um, next game and just try to work on. Um, Coming more alert and more ready to play. Yeah, when did you guys feel like you were starting to get back in the game, starting to kind of claw back into it? Was was it the Gardner uh, pair of threes from the corner? Was it something else? Was it before the half? When when did you guys kind of get a sense that you were getting back into it? Uh, yeah. I mean, in the second half, we kind of strung some stops together. I think that's just um, get string some stops together, a couple baskets go in, and you kind of get more life. So I think just. Yeah, I think Jaden, he had two threes um, that were big shots. I think we traded one of them. Um, but I think just the defensive stops and then the basket on the other end kind of just fires up us even more. With, hey, uh, sorry. Yeah, with uh, with Tane tonight, you, you talked a little bit about him, but how much confidence can you have in a guy who's only played 30 minutes this season, he's a true freshman, and those big moments to hit those threes and pass it out to him? Um, I, we're confident in all our guys. I mean, we all believe in each other. Um, we see him in practice. He makes shots. Um, I mean, he's on the scout team. He's he's helping us trying to prepare sometimes. And um, his number was called tonight, and he was ready. Um, I mean, he's a hard worker. He gets up his shots, and I know he works out on his own. So um, it just showed tonight. You guys are now eight games into the season. How much do you think? of a better understanding, do you think, that the newer, whether it's the transfers, the first years, just the guys who are new to this program, how much of a better understanding do you think of the level of expectation in, within this program? Um, yeah, I mean, the coaches demand a lot. Um, and if you don't bring it, you're going to sit down. Um, it's hard. It's hard to play here. So um, I think they're kind of starting to get a taste of what it um, means to play for the program and what you have to bring each and every night um, to get on the floor. How good is Iowa, and how much will it help you going forward to play them, to have played them tonight? I'm sorry, can you say that again? How good is Iowa, based on what you saw tonight, and how much will it help you going forward that competition? Uh, yeah, um, really good team. They really shoot it. Um, the brothers are really good. Um, hats off to them. I think they they made shots, but I I think we also made it easy for them in the first half. Um, uh, they really shot the ball well, and I think they got a lot of second chance points in the first half. I think they had 11 second chance points. So we don't give those up. I think it's a close ball game, and who knows? A couple shots fall, some don't. I think it's a closer game, and uh, maybe we don't dig ourselves a hole. Hey, Key, hey, Jaden obviously brings you guys a lot of offensive toughness and um, kind of fires up the crowd with the way he plays. How difficult is it for a guy like him to come in and you know, Armand played kind of a pack line last year to learn the pack line on the fly and, and do how, how hard is it for a guy like that? It's hard. It's hard. It's just like he's a pretty much like he's a freshman learning the defense, honestly. Um, it, it's really hard. It's really hard. So we understand that. Um, we just, he knows we're behind him. We just try to push him 
pushing through every day, just try to coach him up, um, show him where he's where he's messing up and what he can do better. And um, when he does a good job, we, we pat him on the butt and um, next play. And then just trying to learn to do it every single possession time down again. Um, I think that's what we're building towards. So, um, I mean, he's learning, but I think he, he can really he can really be a, a good defensive player for us, I think. Uh, of the defense? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, it's hard. I mean, he's learning. Um, so I think just, just trying to keep working on the reps and um, just talking him through it, I think. And you had not been in the rotation before tonight. Were you expecting to play a bigger a bigger role going into this game? Did you have any idea this was coming? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously I put a lot of trust in the, the coaching staff and, you know, they obviously – Make make great decisions, um, and yeah, I mean, I always try to be ready. So um, it was I was really fortunate enough to get the minutes tonight and be able to help this team. Um, unfortunately, in the loss, yeah. In terms of your confidence level, um, when you don't play in either of the games uh, up in Jersey, and, and just a few minutes, three minutes, I think it's Lehigh. How do you have your confidence where it was tonight to be able to do what you just did? Yeah. Um, once again, I mean, obviously, my teammates. Uh, they're really experienced, and they allow me to um, put me in positions to succeed, um, which I'm really grateful for them. And yeah, I mean, coaching staff always um, help us be thoroughly ready um, and scout and, and everything we do. So yeah, I guess I'm just really appreciative to them uh, for allowing me to be in this position. Yeah. How much does it help you during a game to see a three-pointer go in, hear the crowd go nuts? Like, how much does that help your confidence? And how much of a reward do you feel like it was for your hard work that Tony made personnel decisions in the second half based on who was doing what um, was effective and what he wanted them to do on both ends. Yeah, um, obviously it was great to make shots. I think that um, obviously everyone wants to make shots. But yeah, definitely a big um, house with my confidence. Um, and yeah, once again, I'm just fortunate to only see something in me um, and allows me to be on the court, especially in um, such a close game. Yeah. Jane. Uh, with, with the experience you have playing with and against pros in New Zealand, how does that sort of help you be able to come into a big game like this and contribute right away? Yeah, um, obviously playing with pros back home, um, fortunate enough for that opportunity with the experience um, of the older guys. Yeah, it's um, obviously all learnings from, from playing with professionals. Um, but yeah, just yeah, tough to get a loss tonight. You were screening and separating to the corner to get some of those looks. How much screening for others had you done before you got here versus running off a screen? Yeah, um, obviously a new position for me playing at the four. Um, once again, the coaching staff um, sees that in me. And um, yeah, I'm just, just grateful to be on the court and try and maximize in that role. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't mind getting my teammates open. Yeah. How much of a better feel do you think you have now for just the coaching staff's expectations for what it's going to take to get on the floor and get consistent minutes? Yeah, um, definitely, you know, uh, I think we've played maybe a, over a handful of games, eight or nine games now. Um, and yeah, I've been able to see and watch um, kind of what the expectation is defensively and, and offensively too. So yeah, I think I've definitely got a better understanding of what the coaching staff wants and yeah. Saint. Yeah, Tain, just kind of going off of that, you know, seeing the reaction from the crowd tonight and kind of having those moments out there, how much of a driving factor is that for you going forward to kind of recreate that again? Yeah, um, obviously it's just one game, and I think that i um, got to try and be consistent with that. Um, yeah, the crowd was um, awesome tonight. I think that's probably the most amount of people I've ever played in front of. So, um, yeah, that was, that was an awesome opportunity. And, yeah, they really helped us um, get back into the game. I think, you know, helped us with a lot of momentum. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we, we fell short. Yeah. What's been the most challenging part of the transition to the American game and just life in college here? Yeah, um, I think first of all, regardless of the basketball, just finding my way away from home. Um, obviously, fair way uh, across the world from back in New Zealand. Um, yeah, I think basketball-wise, defensively, learning a lot. Um, obviously, the pack line's a, a great defense um, and one that I'm continuing to learn on for sure. And just offensively, um, you know, the shot clock's a lot longer here. Um, used to 24 seconds, so just taking care of the ball and, and um, yeah, finding shots within that.